As you look into her eyes, you can see that she is grieving. She is going through a lot of struggles and trials in her life right now. She is a Dalit, one of millions of Dalit women in crisis in South Asia. This is Mula. She was married 17 years ago, and this is an old picture from her wedding day. She and her husband were deeply in love. Her husband was a firewood gatherer. Each day he would go deep into the forest and carry out bundles of wood on his head, bringing them into town to sell. He was a very hard-working man, earning a meager living in a vast and dangerous jungle. So what's Mula's biggest trial? Well, less than a year ago, her husband died from throat cancer. They spent every penny they had trying to find a cure for him, going to witch doctors, priests, and medical doctors. They tried everything, but the cancer was not stopped. So he died, leaving this bed empty. This is where he used to sleep, but no more. His death left a wife and four children all alone. And when I say it left them alone, you have no idea of the depth of what that means. For a woman in this part of the world, to lose her husband is the worst thing that can happen to her. Worse than death. It is considered Mula's fault that her husband died of cancer. All the blame is placed on her. She was a curse. Can you imagine carrying that kind of guilt? I can't. I can't even imagine losing my husband. I've not gone through what Mula has faced. The heartbreak and grief she is experiencing is intense. This is her kitchen. When her husband died, the family lost the wages he brought home each day. Mula's family was literally starving because they had no food. You may wonder, why didn't she have anything to eat in her house? If I were to die today, I know there would be many friends and family rallying around my family. Providing for my husband's needs, he would not starve. But Mula didn't have that support. In fact, just the opposite. Her family rejected her. Her neighbors ignored her. Nobody would help her. Nobody. Because in their eyes, it's her fault her husband died. And her children suffered too. They lost a loving and caring father. Saw the rejection their mother faced. And they also experienced that same rejection as the relatives turned their backs upon them. But a ray of hope was shining on them through a Bridge of Hope ministry. In this narrow valley, in the middle of town, we have a Bridge of Hope Center. Mula's oldest daughter is a student here. The hope and love she received carried her through the loss of her father. She brought that hope home with her, to her family, every single day. One day, a glimmer of hope came to Mula when her daughter came home with news about a tailoring class that was about to start. These classes teach impoverished women how to earn a living through sewing, so going through a tailoring class has enabled Mula to survive. And through our Christmas catalog, we gave her a new sewing machine. Then she had all the tools she needed to start up a sewing business in her home. She's not getting rich from tailoring. Nobody does. But at least she has a good number of jobs hanging on a rope in her house and is now able to make enough money to feed and clothe her kids. Where there used to be empty food containers, she now has enough to feed her children. Mula's life is starting to return to normal. When I asked her if she would remarry, she emphatically said, No, there is no way I could marry another man. The depth of her love was so great, she cannot fathom another man taking the place of her husband, let alone the cultural difficulties of a second marriage. No man would be willing to marry her and take on the burden of her four children. Through our Bridge of Hope ministry, there is now hope in this family instead of despair, but they still have a long way to go in grieving the loss of a husband and a father. Because of the love of Christ that was shown to Mula through our ministry, she is now secretly following Jesus. Because of the intense rejection she experienced when she became a widow, she is afraid of what will happen when they discover that she has chosen to give her life to the Lord. She is very new in her faith, 
but I expect in the months or years to come she will be one of the strongest witnesses for Christ in her area. She is also very thankful to those who are sponsoring Bridge of Hope children, but were not for the fact that her daughter is a Bridge of Hope student. Mula would never have learned about tailoring classes, and she and her family would still be in a very dire situation. She said her Christmas gift sewing machine is making it possible for her to put her newfound skills to work. There are countless widows in South Asia who are in the same situation. Gospel for Asia is helping as many as we can. Because of your prayers and financial support, widows like Mula and their children are finding hope and new life in Christ.